Hello everybody and welcome to um, Dead Fantastic game number 6 um, against Deadliest Peasants 10k difference he didn't get anything basically he's got 13 play he's got 14 players and I've got 12 but I've got an extra reroll than he's got and um, and then that's basically the difference so um, yeah I, I forgot to do the proper intro my apologies um, but there you go <laughs> yeah, he's got he's got a niggle ghoul. He hasn't got any skills in his ghouls, whereas I've got two blodgers, so hopefully and I've also got a mighty blow white, so hopefully um I can get my block mighty blow to make some knockdowns on his ghouls and hurt him. Um but the chances are obviously he's gonna have eleven plays for the second half. The fact he's starting with fourteen, he can probably foul if he wants to. So this could be um Yeah, um BLGF. Okay, I'll join. I'll join then on the um, on the thing. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look at um, at this. Okay, hello, James Overlord. Hello. And now I've upped the user volume to two hundred, so hopefully that's that's good for everybody watching. Cool. So how come how come you've got this record with this team? Have you been have you been unlucky or? Unlucky, unlucky is not the word. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Some bad dices and some crucial points. Mm. Well, I'm not going to lie. I hope it continues. <laughs> <laughs> I think Schaefer was on his knees praying to me earlier to uh, <laughs> make that not happen. <laughs> yep. I mean, I don't know. I think it's it's obviously looking good for me and Schaefer at the moment for the for the race, isn't it? It's just um, whether either of us can make the playoffs somehow would be pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah well, we were outside sacrificing sheep and all sorts earlier, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, anything can happen, can't it? That's that's blood ball. Yep. Or in my case, nothing can happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, we shall see. Um, right, three, three, two, blitzy, blitzy. Right, ooh, both, two, two ghouls, so definitely got at least two ghouls for the second half. <laughs> yeah. But I'll try and I'll do my best to take them out for you. So it's a good start for you. <laughs> yeah, that's nice, that's nice. All about the rerolls. Here we go again. <laughs> Sad times. You want to blitz this? No, you want to blitz this guy? I guess I don't get to. Here we go again. Someone did donate me a zombie a couple of games ago. Oh, that's nice. That's nice of them. Nice little elf. <laughs> <laughs> nice 
Might as well re-roll that in and I've got four. Yeah. Not something I'd normally do, but... No. But as soon as you've got an extra one at the start, yeah. can't complain. No. Dead mirror, high speed passing extravaganza. Yeah. Well, it's it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, they're both basically the same teams. There's only I've got a slight advantage in Blodge and um, Mighty Blow, but um, obviously James Overlord has the advantage in players. <laughs> Three four. Yeah, I think I think it, this game will not be three four. <laughs> it could be one nil or two nil or one one or two one. I think that's about all it's going to be. But may, maybe Undead have had three four games. The Elves versus Skaven in the Champions Ladder Finals last sixteen was like six five or something ridiculous. But yeah, this is probably just going to be tight, isn't it? Could be, could come down to a one nil, or nil nil. It could be even. Hmm. I just want to two dice this guy, I think. If I can help it. If I put him in there, I can two deem with him afterwards as well. He could 3D him with a little help from his friends. Could do a ducky, couldn't I, and foul this this mummy now? Plus three and no dirty player though, it doesn't seem doesn't seem quite worth it, does it? As much as much as I'd love to foul. Yeah, the other one, this is UKBBL week six. This was the bad thing about making that blitz was he was going to get 2D by Mighty Blow if he wanted. <laughs> yeah, fun fucks. At least one. At least one you can you can do. You can do at least one foul before you get sent off. That's about all I've got to say about that. It's just going to be a one here on the mummy, isn't it? And he's got to stand firm. Stand firm, paying off instantly. Or is it? He's getting one. No, he's not getting one die. So yeah, it paid off. Maybe I should have actually. Maybe he's not stand firm. 
No, because he could have got an extra assist. He could have one lead him the game, whereas now he can't. So it was right. To, it was right to stand for. Yeah, really the other one, I don't know, I think Undead are pretty pretty basic. They've got they've got the best big guys effectively in the game. Um they've got fast players with Blodge. Like they're they've got it all, Undead. Undead are a pretty amazing team. But only at low T V. That's the thing. Once they've got low base stats overall, zombies are, are pretty bad players, aren't they? So and like your ghouls cap out at one skill basically, because you can't expect them to live long. Whites are okay, but they're got low base stats really 6338 three, isn't anything to write home about and obviously big guys lose lose viability at higher TVs too yeah mummies mummies are unbelievable oh there you go it gets minus two deed minus two deed in the pal let's still stand for that. <sighs> thank god for that I was expecting I was expecting the AV break so so hard it's still bad though, because obviously I would have liked to have punched this guy to get the to get the guard in to um, hit the hit the mummy. I guess it's okay because I just block him. Yeah, true slipping, Jimmy. But you can't you can't rely on that, can you? You can't rely on that happening, right? Let's just stand him up straight away and obviously go. Oh, I could go for this. So if I push him, I just get to strand him. That's better, isn't it? Oh, don't strand him because he's he's um he's obviously he's movement four, but still. Punchy, punchy. Hello, hon hands. Right. So um, the zombie will mark up that fucking bastard mummy there. Get a punch. Hmm. We've actually got to invest a lot into this, haven't I? <sighs> Maybe you can come around Blitz there. Maybe you could block first. Yeah. Okay. He can. He can just come in here. Block with him first. And now I can blitz this guy, can't I? I guess I shouldn't have kept him based. Because I was thinking about blitzing. I was thinking about blitzing him if I piled the mummy, but I guess I shouldn't have done. But then that let me in. Oh, no, I should have. I should have pushed him there. I shouldn't have given up that block. Um, oh, I'm in ta I'm in a tackle zone, so that's uh, that's that fun over. Still, still think this is pretty safe, and I've got the removal so far. Haven't had two guys off. Hello, Jolly L. Yeah, yeah, it is UKBBL. I did, I did put it on the Twitch feed that it was, um, it was coming up. Yes, yeah, so obviously, just blitzes, blitzes in with a mummy. I'm surprised at the push direction. I, I, if I was him, I would have um, tried to get stick him on the mummy, but um, works out. This was a bad push here, wasn't it? No need to give away that block there. 
just thinking about blitzing him. But I'm stupid. Will I be punished in the worst possible way? No. Thanks God. Probably not going to be able to engine it. Oh god, he's two, minus two Dean again. Don't mind that at all. Um, so I could almost blitz him here now, couldn't I? Block with him. I think it's better to block with this one, though. And then blitz with the mummy. Huge! <gasps> there was, there was, there was the animation. So he's filled regen. Oh yes, yes. Oh my god, that was pretty good. Um, <laughs> not gonna lie, that one was big. Right, get a three dice this guy. I want to. I've got to have somebody here to stop him two dicing him easily, which can be a zombie. These guys can come up here. And I guess the ball can remain pretty safe here. Just turn four, got plenty of time. And I think I can follow. I think that's fairly safe. String five in there. And there you go. Beautiful work. Although it is as it is. Yeah, that was that was that was great luck, wasn't it there? Can't um Can't argue with that. Can't argue with that power there. Huge, huge. I mean that that and to be fair, that's what happened in my game against Crimson Sun. Which, you know, obviously that's great luck by me. Um very lucky to get that removal, but it makes a big difference in the mirror, doesn't it? When one person's just got one mummy. Yeah, so he did. He could just dodge away from that one. That's all he could do. So I can make a few blocks here, can't I? Oh, Dale's is dodgy, dodgery do. All right, so now actually might be able to make a 3D on him, as as well as a 2D on him. So this could be nice. Obviously, obviously he's gonna he's gonna fucking attach himself there. I'm not gonna make a dodge out here. Um, Three dice with Mighty Blow, yes please. This is what I like to do with my undead teams. Three dice and for days. Um, yep, let's uh, get his splits in like this, isn't it? It's pretty good. Let's 
was a little bit creep forward. Maybe I should have made a bit more of a move forward, actually. But hopefully that's going to come next turn. Obviously the pressure's off with um, this mummy being isolated and the other mummy off the pitch. I don't, I don't, not feeling the need to go too far forward yet. But I guess I should have maybe. Um, I should have maybe got forward more. I don't know. I don't know Jelly Hill, to be honest. I've got no, no idea. Zombie being a great sponge, isn't he, so far this game? Got more hits there. Yes, yeah, it look, looks like next turn I'll be able to make a push forward, doesn't it, I think? Somewhere, somewhere's got to collapse and... I would think... That's his, um, put two whites. No, he's just dodging again. But I get to blitz this guy, don't I? And hopefully three dice him. Maybe make a bit of a move over here. Get these guys away. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with this. Right. So straight, him straight onto him. Um, this guy straight onto him. And I guess actually blitz because I'd rather three dice him. No, I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll do the blitz first, though. See what happens. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna three dice the other guy because he's more likely to get him down, isn't it? Not much, not much penetration again, though. Guess do the block one first. If I'd powed it, if I'd powed this guy, I'd have considered blocking with him just to get the mummy on, on these two players. But I guess instead this guy's just going to come in here, isn't he? And I'll always give away a block. Um, he's occupying two defenders. There's three guys over here to my three, so that's all right. And then there's two to one there, and now he's only got three players in front of like seven of mine. So. Penetrated his mummy good though. Yeah, the 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 mummy penetration was the best thing. I guess just holding the line here is probably the best play you can do, isn't it? Three versus seven does feel good, but I don't, it doesn't give me much of an advantage, does it? Really, like he's in front of me. I haven't made to say it's turn it's my turn seven. I hadn't, um, I hadn't advanced at all, had I? Like hardly at all. I would have liked to have been here already. Now I've got to go what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or something, and not have a foot. Well, okay, I've got, I've got ghouls to go ahead. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can make something, but it's a bit dodgy there. Or I go through here, but I can't. I need a pal, so I'm gonna have to just blitz in this way and make something over there. Blitz with the uh, mummy, maybe. Just get a push, and then one, two, three, four. Oh, no, okay. No, he's made a he's made a hole for us. Okay then. Nope, he's moved back. He was listening. <laughs> was he? I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Fuck, I'm in Discord. <laughs> Shit. 
Don't. <laughs> or am I trying to trick him? Nobody knows. Yeah, Gandhi accomplished his job, didn't he? It doesn't matter that he's done now. Yeah, Gandhi has done his job, to be fair. Right. If I go there and blitz him, push him to here. I'm not going to assist there. Blitz, push him to there. Right, I, I definitely just have to mark these two with him. Yeah, maybe Kurgor, maybe I should have pushed a talk on Discord, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty, that was, could have been costly. But I don't, still, I still think you should have just gone back to where he was, because I, I still think I can force a hole through now with a push. Can I? I did think about the hole while I was moving, but you did help me along by saying what you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> okay now, right. I I can go quite far forward actually here. I actually have to get, I have to get my scoring threat into play before I do anything else, don't I? Well, I'm held on longer than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Um, I really don't have to make this block without block. But it puts the mummy in the best spot. And... GFI with him. What the hell? I guess so. Good. Now I can go for a greed reroll with my uh, mummy, mummy splat. <laughs> Into the both down. Thank God. I thought that would have been greed reroll. I would have been <laughs> but for the greed reroll there. That was, yeah. Right. Um, let me now enable push to talk on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> um. Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Okay, is that working for you? Yep. Excellent. Excellent, right. <laughs> that was that was a <laughs> that was a pretty bad bad thing to do. Oh he's just fucked oh brilliant, he's just fucking up. Oh shit. <laughs> I mean, even despite moving these, it still should be should be okay to get through, shouldn't I? And skill up him with block. Oh shit, he makes the... Oh, block! Block gets him! Get banged on. Right, my mighty blow. So the question now becomes... Oh, you can just load up the stream. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? Oh, yeah. Um, I'll just change it. 
All right, I've just changed it because you can load up the stream if you want, so it's the same. It's the same difference. So um, the question is, do I do a greed three die just so I can mighty blow the um, guy? And I guess I'd do. I haven't loaded up the stream to be fair, but that's fine. Of course, I make the th the greed, the greed three D. Injury works out well, but he regens, doesn't he? But it still gives me star player points. Come on, he really wants his SPPs, this bastard. No, I can't I can't re greed it, greed it either. Alright, another blodger. That's good. Cleopatra coming at you. Those guys recovering didn't really matter, did it? Because of the reserves. What's big is my guy staying out, and if there's more res more removals here, and at the start of the second half. I think I would have rather kicked just to know what I would have had to have done on offense. Six TDs to go, yeah. <laughs> For the fabled, the fabled 4-3 undead match. Right. That's good enough. God, how good would the would the living rule book, not living rule book, Blood Bowl 2016 MVP rule be here? As I could just choose between the two, ghoul, the twelve white, and the four mummy. It's such a good rule, so much more fun. Um, well, slipping Jimmy Trollolol. Um, in a league, I would go for the second player on the bench when it's not going to affect the inducements one way or the other, and. And when you plan to foul, and when um, you expect to take a lot of attrition, or when you think the only way you can lose is by attrition. Um, yeah, it's not very whimsical, yeah. So, like, for example, my next game against Norse, um, he's only going to have 11 players, which is good. And at the moment, I'm going to have 12, um, you know, barring any missed next games here. You know, assuming no missed next games on my end. Um, I'm going to be about 120 TV above him. So he's probably going to buy the wizard anyway for 30k. So in that case, I could buy an additional player to just means that if I've got 13, I can foul him a bit more. And also if his um, Yeti goes crazy, I'll have a bit more, you know, a bit more insurance against that. I think looking at his team, the only way it's going to be a problem is if his Yeti goes fucking crazy and if his armor 7 is invincible, as Norse armor sometimes is. Yeah, and like you know, and obviously, if if um, if what's he called, Javelin, had the chance to buy reserves against um against Ducky's team, he took. Whoa, misclick there. Yep, I just realised that. <laughs> Imagine that misclick into death. That would have been. Yeah, that would have just finished me. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been blood ball to the max. Hello, Yuri Tionis. Yeah, so it just all depends. The, the 13 players is just, you know, some teams need to have 11 players in the second half, like Nurgle and, and Undead to an extent. But, um,. I was at the point where if I'd got the 13th player, he'd have got a babe, and he might have thought about getting a bribe. 
So I thought, you know, hope, I just hope 12 would be enough. And obviously, obviously, as of right now, 12 is enough because it wouldn't have mattered if I'd had 13 because he obviously might just make three removals on turn one right now. But um, that's what I hate about having reserves, that if someone just makes loads of... But like I did the first half, you know, he had, he had two reserves, but I made two KOs straight away and it doesn't matter that he's got reserves, does it? His two reserves haven't, haven't affected the match at all. So, I would like a mechanic whereby you could bring on reserves during the half because I think that would make people want a bench at the moment. They're just not worth it's It's bit, hardly ever It's rare that having a bench is worth the TV because it might not even be a factor, is it? It's just, it's just a bit of insurance, basically, having a bench. So now that I've scored on my... If, if I was... Um, if I was defending first half, I would have started with a zombie on. But seeing as I've um, I've already scored, I don't really have um, like it doesn't really matter if I get one of my ghouls cast right now because I've I I like to make sure I've got my um, my ball carrier for the second half normally. But seeing as now I don't need a ball carrier for the second half, I might as well go balls out for the turnover and score. So I'll play all four ghouls on defense. Um, Guess one guard either side. Right. Looks good, man. Oh, do you know what? I'm such a derp. <laughs> Whenever I'm playing undead, I always set up my mummy's three three squares away from the LOS, and obviously his is movement four, so if he wants to if he wants to blitz me he can. But um normally I've set them up three back in that situation. That's why I deliberately set them up three back instead of two back. Was to avoid the chance of the mummy blitz, whereas now I can't avoid the chance of it. Yeah, I, it would really be good, and then people would like want sixteen players and stuff. Then wouldn't they? Because it would. I think it would be a really good mechanic to to bring on players during the half. A lot of people hate the fact that you know you want to min match your team at 11, 11 players, and and you know it, it, I liked it in second dead where you had a sixteen player team, and um, you know you did get players come on during the match. And right now, oh god, Cleopatra coming at you. Injured, brilliant, 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 badly hurt, you fuck. No, level up as ghoul, gets killed by a rock, fucking brilliant. I love the whimsy of Blood Bowl. Yeah, and you could only do it straight away, so you couldn't, you couldn't, um... You would have to do it straight away, so you couldn't just wait for a tactical one. You know, if you had a KO, you couldn't just you couldn't just keep them off the pitch waiting to stop their touchdown. You'd have to bring them on straight away. Oh, I'm gonna draw this, aren't I? Thanks to a rock, rock killing killing a ghoul. Probably leading to a draw. What a load of shit. Nuffle gonna nuffle. I fucking hate rocks, Jellio. It's such a fucking shit mechanic, especially for leagues. I mean, especially for leagues. It's bad enough in, like, normal Blood Bowl that you can just have something dumb like a rock fuck you. But, um, in a league, it's really incredibly fucking stupid, isn't it? Now I've got a GFI to hit with my money. I think I won it, though. I think I just mans him, but that mansing him is fucking bad, isn't it? I've got to blitz the mummy. Got a reroll. Oh, I'm cancelled the assist. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm so bad at Blood Bowl. Fucking hell. Holy shit, that was bad. Now I'll put that guy there. Burp derp. Mine got eh?
I'll just imagine our old double pushes. And wasn't the worst fucking play ever. Yeah, tilting. <laughs> Tilt Fagors after that stupid rock. Oh man, that's so annoying though, isn't it? You skill up your ghoul, and instantly, it's um, you just get him killed. And it's not 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 anything I've done or anything my opponent's done. It's just a stupid roll. One of your guys gets killed, permanently. It's fuck. Oh, it's such a horrible shit rule. Fuck anybody who defends the fucking rock. It's stupid. It's so fucking incredibly shit. At least this one, I, I opened him up to be list, didn't I? If he dies, fair enough. Fair enough if he dies, you know? Decision I've made, decision he's made. You know. I might even keep him. Oh, wow. <laughs> Here come the dots. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's okay, isn't it? Because that's like... The first, well, you've only got two rerolls. First one, you didn't reroll. Second one was a bit unlucky. But I haven't got that much pressure on. But at least that's like something happening in the game. I really hate the fucking <laughs> the other one. Um, what's it called? The rock. Oh my god. I hate the rocks when nearly half the team gets wiped out on one side and not the other. Oh yeah, pitch, pitch invasion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that 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 can be a pain in the ass. That can completely that can completely ruin games as well, yeah. I can't even fucking put pressure on here. Can I get a push, please? That's what I'd really like. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can. Good. Holy shit. Call the cops. No, the thing is, Champions Ladder is supposed to be where better coaches play, but it's it's definitely not always the case because, for some reason, the Bright Sparks made it the default division. So it's obviously full of loads of people who haven't got the foggiest fucking clue what Champion Ladder is. It's outrageous. It's absolutely outrageous. Yeah, of course there are better play. Yeah, it's where everyone plays, yeah, exactly as Kurgol says. You've got to opt out of... Open is worse purely because you have to opt out of the of the default so they've they've made an effort to play in the shit league so so open ladder is really really terrible um but there you go i've <laughs> got four fail pickups in a row is pretty pretty bad isn't it but it's it's actually it hasn't worked out that bad because it's made me overcommit a little bit Oh yeah, he can just hit the guard guy, can't he? Derp. That's the 1D. <sighs> Huge dodge there. Unbelievable, Jeff.
I don't think so, I smize. No, they like to make they like to keep it mysterious. Cyanide work in mysterious ways. Right, so I can make two pushes two well, a push and a pow. And then I can get the ball. If the second one I might re-roll the second one if it's a push. Um He can go here to set up two two Ds, can't he? Um I definitely want to make this two D with block first. Could actually chain forward my um, chain mummy out to to make it blitz or something here as well. Right, let's stand him up first. Let's not roll bad dice here. Right, if it's a push, then I go one, two, three. It's just a GFI, so a push is is actually not the worst in the world. All right, good. Now I stay, stay fantastic and don't have to GFI to Blitz. Oh, no, regen, but regen doesn't matter to me anyway, does it? He's off the pitch. Obviously, I want to go for this 50 50 pickup, but I do want to make this block first. Greed is good, as they say. I could actually put him in contact with him and then dodge him out to go for the pickup. No. I go for the pickup here, don't I? I think I re roll it as well because it's hard for him to get rid of a knock a blodger down. Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Oh well, good bounce. Yeah, that was that was good rolls that um that turn, yeah, definitely. Um well apart from pickup, but then maybe I shouldn't have re-rolled it, you know. The good thing is I would have failed to dodge, so I think probably did the right thing by not dodging first. Yeah, five and all currently. Um, Schaefer, who is, who is my main competition in this division, is he's he drew he he started five and all two and he drew his sixth one. So, um, you know this this if I if I win this I'll go ahead of him, which is nice. Um, but I mean even if I draw I keep pace. Well, I guess I can't lose now being one nil up. So that's good. It'd have to be pretty outrageous to lose from one nil, don't you? In a in an undead mirror, something crazy would have to happen to lose from here. But I could still draw, definitely. Obviously, did, if I had picked it up, he wouldn't have knocked me over. So I think it was worth rerun the pickup there. So Seventy-five percent to. Get it? Could have blitzed off the marker easily enough. Oh. Good. Good. Where's the niggle? Right, so I can 2D him. Into a 3D on him. And then recovery with him, maybe. He definitely wants to block him, first action, because it's mighty blow against uh, um, armor seven with block. That frees up him to do something, doesn't it? Don't know what. <laughs> he can come in here. Oh, that's 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 pretty cheeky, isn't it? Quite like this one. I like this move here. Oh, 
And I guess he could blitz this guy, couldn't he? Um, oh no, he couldn't. Oh, he can just mark. He can block him. And then the blodger goes for the blitz. Do I actually make this block for it? Yeah, because I don't, I don't care if I use a reroll this turn. Of course, famous last words. But I think getting the knockdown on him was worth was worth the reroll, to be honest. Oh, injury! Holy shit! Now I don't want to score on him, do I? Still got to, I still got to go for the pickup though. I think. Good enough. Yeah, goofy white animations are funny, yeah. Hello, Spawn of Cthulhu. Yeah, maybe I should have made this block before this one, because now, if I'd powered him, now he gets a 2D on my... He gets a 2D on him and a 2D on my mummy and frees up him. So this, this was actually a, quite an important block to make. Okay, oh, that's not okay. That's okay. I think I'm so strong over here. It's not so bad. But I knew that I was wanted to do that. But I really want to do this one as well. Because if I don't do that, he can free he can free himself up near the ball. Hmm. It was a bit tough. He's got to go for the touchdown now, I guess, or this one. I'll feel bad about this one. Okay. Mummy touchdown. Right. He can block him. He can block him already. I think that's worth it, isn't it? Uh huh. Yep. Of course, my my block block does nothing. I just want to hit them, but I can't. I can't hit the guard now. I don't even want to blitz with him, but one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. So you can't even base him if I just pick it up here. That was a really, that was a really annoying double skull. Just as it's getting crucial, just as we're getting to the nitty gritty. Because now I can't, I can't risk any. This is the only block that I can risk, and he can't, he can't make a block because of the guard. I'd have to make the other, I'd have to block it out the guard first. Then he could block. And he could do stuff then, couldn't he? Or he could blitz, but I can't because I've used the reroll. I think what I have to do is um, is actually just screen the ball a little bit. Not blitz. Maybe I could blitz him. Or, and then come back and pick it up. Nah, I think I've got to go for pick up and fuck off. Nah. Can't pick up the ball. <laughs> can't pick up the ball. But, I mean, he failed four in a row, so, you know. <laughs> I can't complain too much about that. But that was a brutal double score. Yeah, fluffy burrito. I definitely, I definitely think the plus arm is better. Oh, 
Yeah, exactly for Hibberto. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. People say, oh, it's just the same because there's the same odds to be removed from the pitch. And it's like, no, because you get stun loads more, for fuck's sake. Feels like it's slipping away now. I, I, I thought I had it sewn up when he was out of rerolls, and um, I had two. But then I've just failed everything since then. Maybe I, sh I, re I guess I really shouldn't have gone for the reroll of the pickup. But if I had, I would have won, wouldn't he? Because I, w I literally would have won if I'd made that pickup with a reroll. So tough to say it was wrong. Two stuns actually pretty good for him. I can't risk dodges. So all I can do is do a two dice with help block. And then go for the pickup again. <laughs> we could put him there, but then he can't reach. Oh, we got it. Simply the best Fagors. He can't base, so I might as well dodge. For the screen. Good. And... Dodge is less likely for my ghoul to die. I just run him away, I guess. That was a pretty good turn, wasn't it? In the end, in the end, that was a pretty good. That was a pretty good turn. I'm still tilted off the face of the planet by this fucking rock. I just can't even believe how stupid rock is in leagues. It's so fucking ridiculously fucking stupid and shit in leagues. It's kind of all right in in one-off games because it's just like, like it's not it's not all right in in one-off games, but at least it's no worse than some of the other shit rules. But in a league, it's really fucking dumb. I'm hoping... I haven't even counted whether this can be three dice or not, but I think it can be. Um, I don't want to stall. Could I stall over here? I actually could, couldn't I? I don't want to, though. This is a three dice. Looks like it is, doesn't it? Could have stalled this out another turn, but fuck it. Um, it's only zombies getting hit by my by um by mummies. It's not the end of the world. Of course, if I triple skull it, I would have felt bad. Oh, good. good evening, Kraboom. Yeah, bull centaurs. Oh, spawn of Cthulhu. Let me tell you about rocks. I had a claw palm legend um, killed on turn one of a season. Um, no, I can't complain about too much. Yeah, exactly. I can't complain at all. No, you're right, Ducky. Overall, obviously, I've had, I've had the one game where I, I basically had the the worst luck in was the game that on the last turn I got a riot, which turned it into the win anyway. So you know. Um, yeah, obviously I've had pretty good luck all the way through. But, you know, you can't just not comment on the fact when your fucking ghoul who you've just skilled up dies. And, you know, hard, hard to ignore that fact. Um, and... It wasn't, it wasn't great scoring with that guy. I would have rather scored with him, but with no rerolls I couldn't try and hand it off, could I? Or him actually, then he would have been one thirteen in case of an MVP. Um, they're all on zero. 
He's on five, so that, that works out pretty well, doesn't it? No, sure, fluffy burrito. Yeah, at least it wasn't. At least it wasn't my mummy. If, if at least it wasn't. At least it wasn't my guard stand for a mummy. If he had been killed by the rock, holy shit! And it's just, it's just stupid. It's like that. That's what happened. In one league I was in, I had a claw pom, a legend claw pommer. No, not legend. He was a superstar. I tell a lie. Killed on turn one with a rock. Apple fail. Um, and then. And then like a bull centaur, um, minus a Vede, another bull centaur killed, another chaos dwarf blocker killed. It was just ridiculous with the rocks. And it's it's annoying because there's nothing you can do to mitigate the rock, apart from just not feel the player. And obviously I do everything in my power to not have to feel the player, like fouling on turn 15 and stuff before I, before I if I'm going to score on turn 16. And like on my drive, I do everything I can to like foul with my worst players and stuff. I had the fame in this match, presumably. Um, and there's just, there's just nothing you can do at a game. I hate it. I hate it. At least if like, you know, somebody makes a three dice block with a mummy, you've let that happen, or it's been it's happened in the game. Like you know the the foul that killed the mighty blow guy of javelin against ducky at least that was like a game happening but i just really hate rocks <laughs> i really hate them pitch invasions are dumb pitch invasions are terrible because they decide the outcomes of games um but at least they only decide the outcome of a game i mean it's horrible that you can just lose your best player permanently due to a kickoff event that i mean that is really ludicrous it's really ludicrous at least sweltering heat and pitch invasion only have effect in games but even then, pitch invasion can be horrible with developed teams because it can lead to a, like a claw palm hit on somebody who would have been protected. Um, so pitch invasions do do bode ill for you overall. <laughs> yeah, and blitz as well. Blitz can blitz can um, blitz only loses you the game. Probably doesn't lo lose you a player, but it can lead to a claw palm blitz on your claw palmer, which then you know I I've had loads of games where their blitz has made a kaz. And it's like, but it's still mostly for the game, isn't it? And at least it's, and at least you can not set up your claw pommer on the line so that if they get a blitz, they can't blitz your claw pommer. But there's just no way to play around, um, no way at all to play around this. I've got no reroll, so I'm not going to GFI to hit. So um, thank you for the game, James Overlord. Thank you. Um. Yeah, you were very unlucky with the pickups, obviously, and the mummy. The mummy removal was huge, wasn't it? Mhm. Mm <laughs> <laughs> Nuffle didn't like his shape. He'll have to upgrade to a cow tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Um, but God, I am. I'm annoyed about throw a rock. I re it really grinds my gears after the luck I've had in previous leagues with it. Um, oh wow, brilliant MVP for me though. Absolutely fantastic. Mighty blow white gets an MVP. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. So I'm. Um, I shall. I shall leave the Discord. Cheers. See you. Thank you. Um, right. So yeah, that was that was great, wasn't it? That was a great result. In, in the at the end, apart from the guy who skilled up getting killed by a fucking rock, four injuries, three KOs. Um, we made the same armor breaks, but I. I mean, I did have more mighty blow, so I would have expected to do more. But I mean, I obviously I was. I was lucky. I've been pretty much. Um, Pretty much, pretty lucky all the way through, as as Ducky points out. Let's see what Cleopatra coming at you got. Oh, of course, movement to cancel out the minus. <laughs> Looking brilliant, eh? Um, this one. Oh, agility. All right, I'll take I'll take that. Thank you very much. Um, that's a pretty nice ghoul now, isn't it? And this one. He'll probably take tackle, actually, to be honest, rather than piling on. Um, purely for, you know, um, ducky and stuff in the whimsical nature of Nuffle. <laughs> yeah, I can't. So I'm, gonna, I'm obviously going to sack Cleopatra, and I've got 200k, so, I, you know, I can spend the 70k to replace her. That, that's not a big deal at all. That, that, that's better than just burning 50 TV, isn't it? Or I could have upgraded my stadium, um, but I think, or I could have bought a thirteenth player, 
a 13 zombie. But I think I'll just replace this this ghoul here. Go down 130. Obviously take the edge and uh, probably tackle. Because there, there's a few dodgy teams that I've left to play. Um, what are we looking at? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright. It's fucking hard to do it on here, isn't it? I've played the Dark Elves, actually. So I've got Bretts. Bretts to come against Ducky, the um, Champion League champion. He's got two dodge already. Two blodge, in fact. Um, Stepdad's Hon, the four-time champion. He's got um, one, two, three dodge, including a blodger. Um, the Norse. He has no dodge, so that's good. He hasn't even got a runner, has he? Right, so he hasn't got any dodge, so I don't need that that much, actually. Um, I think I've played both the Dark Elves already. I've got a feeling I have. I don't, I don't know, though. What do I have? Seven is... Where the fuck am I? The Norse. Then... Necro. So I could get it for the Necro, actually. Um, then the High Elves. Then the Bretts. And then finally the Orcs. So actually, yeah, Schaefer's, Schaefer's Necros. When I play him, he's got he's got two Dodgers, which I guess I would like to tackle Mighty Blow them. Um, and he might have a Dodge Werewolf by then. But it's not it's not very long to get. So I don't know. I might go pylon. I really don't know. Um, yeah, stadium upgrades are. I mean, stadium upgrades are really just a way to burn cash, aren't they? I might go pylon to be honest, because you can get away with just block, can't you? You can get away with not having tackle really. Pylon is going to level him up faster for subsequent seasons, and it is good. Um, I might I might go pylon. He can't really foul rush him as well because he's only got eleven players. He's got he's got two. Um, my next week opponent is the is the Norse, and as you can see, he's only got nine rostered players at the moment. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got a skill to go on, so he's going to be at least eleven sixty, and he he can't he can't actually get eleven. He can't get twelve players. So um, yeah, maybe pi the piling on would definitely be something he wouldn't want to see. Um, there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.